guys, I really just did this whole entire video already and I had this giant curl like sticking up my head like Cindy Lou Who and I couldn't even take my own self seriously. So we're just doing it again. <laughs> Hello again everyone and welcome back to a little Catholic boost a daily reflection on the readings for mass thank you so much for being here I truly feel blessed to have you and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to pray with me our meditation is going to be rooted in the first reading which is from the book of Amos so I've been really digging being an Amos lately I mean I did a meditation a couple days ago about Amos and we're doing another one today but this is a really good book, guys. I mean, if you've read this reading before you watch the video, which I highly recommend you do, then you may be kind of like, um, Hannah, this is kind of a weird reading. I don't really know why you picked it. And yeah, I would say that's fair. It is kind of wild. But when I was praying with this and reading it to prepare for this video, I was really, really struck by the character of Amos and by how much he represents such great qualities in what it is to be a Christian. And I think he exhibits two here like very specifically. The first one that really stood out to me was when the king is like, hey, go and like make your money and feed yourself by prophesying somewhere else because you are not doing it in my kingdom. To which Amos very bluntly responds, I was not born a prophet. I was not raised and groomed as a prophet. And I did not choose it, especially not for money, but I chose it because the Lord asked me to, and that's what he called me to do. Although we don't typically tend to get like these very clear answers from God as to what we're told to do, here is a really great reminder of what our motive should be before we make any decisions in life. But especially really big decisions like occupations or some relationships or big life changes. Our motive should never be money or fame or power. Our motive should always be, is this what God wants me to do? And of course it isn't a bad thing if along with what our Lord wants to do comes some money or notoriety or influence, but those things should never be the motive to do something itself. It should be approached with prayer and seen as something that God is calling us to do. And the second quality that I think is very admirable about Amos in this story is his ability to speak the truth. The king here is literally about to exile this man <laughs> for saying things that he does not like or want to hear. And how does Amos respond? By immediately speaking exactly what he does not like and does not want to hear. Not to cause any kind of conflict or confrontation, but because Amos knows that it is his job to speak the truth. That's what God has called him to do. That's why he's here. In a sense, that's why all of us are here. It is our duty and our obligation as Christians to always speak the truth. Of course with love, but never ever compromising on what is good and what is right, what is true, what is beautiful. In our world, it is always going to be hard to find the courage to speak the truth because the world is never gonna wanna hear what it has to hear. Worldliness is not godliness, but hopefully Amos today can give us a little bit of extra courage to realize that it's our job, it's our obligation, and we've got the Lord behind us. So what do we have to be afraid of? We as Christians are all called to be prophets in some way. And although we may not prophesy in the same way that Amos does, we can still be like him in that we follow the Lord and speak the truth unwaveringly. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure that if you like this video, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And you know what? Leave me a comment too. I love to hear from you. Tell me what you thought of the reading. Tell me if my hair stuck up at any point during this video. I don't know. Also hit me up on Instagram. I like to post a lot of saint quotes, but I also just like to talk to you guys. So that would be awesome. But more importantly than anything else, I truly hope you have a wonderful day. May God bless you. And may we all ever grow in love with our Lord. Bye.
in our world, a motorcycle man is making lots of noise with an itchy ear. All of us are here. Our?